Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys around a small exhibition that we have set up in the school hall. During this summer, I've joined Rob Swainson workshop. We were experimenting many different printing techniques and there are some results that we want to show in this small exhibition. Let's check it out, yeah? But first, let me cut out the names of the students and their works from the workshop as last time I didn't have time to prepare that. There's me, Amer, Shula, Stavros, and of course Rob, since he's back in America now. We're gonna go through each person's work a bit later. For now, let's go to some cutting. I also have our Instagram link there. You know, you gotta be professional about all of this. Having worked with Rob in the workshop, I can tell that his techniques are very integrated with many things. Here in Weizenze, we have screen printing, digital printing, lithography, and etching. Normally, you would only go to one workshop to work on one project, but when working with Rob, he's using a bit of each workshop. I personally haven't had any experiences with printing, so everything I learned in the workshop is new. But I can tell that the teachers who are in charge of specific workshops are also interested in what Rob's doing. So I guess for them, some of what he does is also very new. We end up working mostly in the etching printing room, and this is a sneak peek of Rob printing his work out of seven copper plates with different colors. He was taking photos of giveaway trashes in Berlin and have them merge in Photoshop. I'll have the full video of this process uploaded next time. Let's now go to see our works. This is my friend Amr's work. One thing I find interesting is that when Rob saw his sketches, he instantly saw that he's a sculptor. I'm like, how could you tell? All I see is an illustration. And then he answered, well, you can tell from the forms and the shapes. So I also try to look at the works of others to see his point more clearly. For example, when I look at Shula's work, who's from painting by the way, I think the elements that appear on the page are very painterly. The shapes and forms that she used look like they're created by brush strokes. They're totally different from me or Amr. I also saw her taking notes in her sketchbook to figure out which colors she wants to use. So I think in her mind, She's really communicating well with colors. And then we come to Stavros, who's from graphic design. And I just gotta say, his work really shows his major. Just in the composition and the layout of the print, he also has the back side printed out and eventually cut and folded as if this was treated in packaging design, which it is. I mean, I really like this work. It changes the whole concept of one's perspective about normal printing. He has it integrated with his major so well. And, you know, it's just what I expect from a graphic designer who's tackling in printing. Looks so s and apart from the other. Okay, let's talk about my work. Jeez, this feels weird. Um, basically, it's an ambigram that I designed. Maybe I'll explain the story behind it another time. But what happened was that I mistakenly had the plates in the wrong registration points, and as a result, I have them overlap on each other. But it looks pretty cool, so I decided to push it in that direction, and eventually, I had some really cool results. When it comes to ambigram, or just any kind of type design. The readability is very important, but I wonder how everyone's perception is now that it's overlapped so much like this. So I decided to call this edition, Can You Still Read It? I mean, it's my design so I can still read it. The question is more for the audience, which I'm very curious about. Okay. The small show also has some works of the students from the first year. If you happen to be in Berlin, 
come to Weizenzee to check it out. I hope you guys enjoy this video and see you next time.